What is happening, jerks? Galactic Criminal here, and today we've got another brand new single from Aborted. Now, I loved, loved the last single, okay? But this one, this one is featuring my boy, Mr. Benny Doerr of Shadow of Intent, so I am extra excited. This single is also taken from their brand new album, Vault of Horrors, releasing March 15th on Nuclear Blast Records. With that said, let us dig in Aborted. Trent Bringer, one, two, three. <laughs> oh. It's like my heartbeat right now. <laughs>
Am I? <laughs> am I totally mistaken, or were Ben's vocals like sprinkled all throughout that entire thing? <laughs> oh man! Ooh, this is this is gonna be death metal album of the year. Oh my god! I have thoughts. Like, seriously, I feel like this, for me, is gonna be, at least at this point, tied with vitriol for the best death metal I've heard in a very long time. Like, like I said, the last single was fucking violent and very cool. The rhythm was absolutely solid, but for just, like, straight up, just crazy death metal. Oh, now, this track it did include more of a uh, symphonic element than in uh, the vitriol track but I appreciate that at the same time that differentiates them from other bands that's that's a big thing for me when it comes to death metal is do you need symphonic stuff do you not need it or was it just something that added to the creation itself I feel like a song like this one would have just it would have handled it, itself entirely as a death metal track but adding that like very subtle symphonic element to it was just Mwah, a chef's fucking kiss again especially for a song a lot longer than some other death metal tracks might be it, it kept me engaged the entire time this like ai music video generational thing is like it's interesting it's cool it's it's something to look at it's better than just like the text on the screen with an equalizer so it's nice that they did at least something like that a visualizer they say of sorts so that was pretty cool. There was some messy stuff happening there, but just the music itself was so fucking fire, man. Guitar work was sick. There was some like crazy like hidden leads in some like the first moments, man. But then when the solo came out, it was sick. They like the guitar sounded almost like eight bit, like like video game sounding, and then like blending into just this the smoothest, craziest fucking solo. This thing was violent. This was absolutely violent. <laughs> I, was, I was so crazy though, like I said before, it was hard for me to discern totally where the feature was and where the main vocals were. It did feel like to me like they were kind of like interchanged throughout the entire track. I could be completely incorrect in that because both of these vocalists have an incredible range to them. They both have some gnarly lows, so it's kind of harder to pick out where the feature was for me personally. Everything about this track was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And mesmerizing. M absolutely mesmerizing every single step of the way. That's fucking awesome. Another album that I cannot wait to get my fucking hands on. That's fucking crazy. Already stepping it up from an already incredible track to this one is just nuts. And knowing the rest of the track listing and who's all on it and that I'm just that much more excited to listen to the entire thing what did the rest of you fuckers think of this shit do you agree with me let me know in the comments below of course I'll be linking the description for this video so you go and watch it for yourself or screen for audio and get the full experience and as always have yourself a fantastic evening